Hey guys, it's Gravity here, and today, for today's Pokemon video, we're going to do a tier list of all the legendaries and mythicals in pretty much the series. Um, <laughs> based, obviously, this is going to be based off of my opinion, so obviously it is 100% correct, and I can do no wrong. Trust me. Anyways, let's get into it. So we have these here. Uh, we've got S tier, best of the best. A tier, very good in my eyes, um, but not my absolute favorites. Uh, B, pretty, pretty good, pretty all right. C, kind of in the middle. You know, I like them. Eh, they're okay. D tier is more or less, um, they're eh. E tier is more like, um, I'm not really a fan of them, but I don't hate them. And then F is, well, the trash tier. In matter of fact, I'm just going to change it to trash tier. Because <laughs> they're absolute trash. And I'm actually going to change the color. <laughs> I'm going to change the color to make it like... Uh, what do you call it? What color? Gray. Trash tier. Very much trash. So they have this thing in alphabetical order and it includes all of the different forms. But I'm not going to do all of the forms I'll just do like maybe significant ones maybe like um like black and white QRM or something but not like primal Kyogre and regular Kyogre or like both forms of Urshifu now um the what but Zygarde though would be interesting because technically they those three Pokemon kind of act as like completely different like play differently or act differently but I'm basing this based off of a couple things based off of my personal likes um based off of design, based off of um, any nostalgia I have for any of these, um, or based off of uh, battles and such. So, let's begin. So, I guess we'll do this in order. Uh, we got Arceus here, obviously the creator of the Pokemon universe. Uh, uh, where else can I put him except us here? <laughs> One of the best Pokemon. Now, we got Gen 4 Remix coming soon, hopefully. And I'm kind of hoping that they do a Delta episode thing that they did with Rayquaza and with Deoxys. That they do maybe with Giratina and Arceus. And maybe find a way to make Arceus, like, uh, get, like, maybe a new form that gets him, like, crazy high stats to make him a very cool boss battle. That would be very cool. I even had an, I have an idea for it already, but we won't talk about that. Not, at least not today. Um, now we got Articuno. Okay, so with Articuno, with the legendary, actually I'll just do all the legendary birds in one go. For Articuno, um, I like Articuno. I like its design, though out of all of them, it's not really my favorite. I would put it in the C tier. Okay, Zapdos is going to be all the, uh, all the way at the bottom here. Let me just, don't worry, these aren't trashed here. I'm just putting these up here, so I'll just do them all in one go. Okay, Zapdos, I love Zapdos' design. He is a good, good old A tier there. And also, Zapdos is pretty good and competitive too. And then for Moltres, I would put that in B. Pretty alright. Um, though, without the fire, <laughs> have you seen a picture of Moltres without fire? It looks really cursed. Looks like a rubber chicken. <laughs> alright, next we have Azelf. Funnily enough, Lake Acuity, well, at least the lake theme from Diamond and Pearl is playing on here. Uh, I honestly like the Lake Trio. Let me actually pull up the rest of them here. If I can find a Vesperit and Uxie. Uxie's going to be at the bottom, isn't it? Letter U. U, 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 U. There we go. Alright, so all of these are actually really cool. Um, my absolute favorite out of all of these is probably Uxie. I like its design, but not really my absolute favorites. So I'll just put it in A tier. I like the rest of these, though. I'll put them in B tier. A self more because I just... I hated that Mesprit was a roaming legendary. Alright, our first mythical next is Celebi. I don't really have much of an attachment to Celebi um, compared to other mythicals. Um, but don't get me wrong, Celebi's cool, but people are probably going to hate me for this, but I'll put it in C tier. <laughs> Alright, then we got the Swords of Justice here. Cobalion... And I guess I'll get Terrakian, Verizion, and I guess Keldeo, too. <laughs> Verizion. Terrakian. 
and Keldeo. I'll just do, um, I was putting Keldeo Resolute. That's basically true Keldeo. So out of all of these, <laughs> Kel Cobillion's really cool. Really cool looking. Though, I don't really have much of an attachment to the ones besides the theme. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I still need to catch all of these in Crown Tundra, though. Um, though, the one thing I hate is that I wish that they could have kept the, their Gen 5 encounter theme when you find them in Crown Tundra, but it's just a basic wild battle theme. It's like, uh... Ferrazine isn't really my absolute fa isn't my f favorite, probably my least favorite of the two designs. And then for Keldeo, Keldeo's really cool too. All in B tier. <laughs> Alright, Cosmog and Cosmoem. These are pretty basic, I mean, <laughs> Cosmog, I love Cosmog. We all love Nebby. My homies love Nebby. Now, Cosmoem though, what the heck is this thing? <laughs> Why does it need to exist? <laughs> like, it would be really cool. Like, it's really... I, I've always find it funny how... Uh, in, like, the competitive rule sets, it includes Cosmoc and Cosmoem in there because they're legendaries. But there's no reason to use these. Like, maybe Cosmoem? It would be interesting to see an Evil Light Cosmoem, but the moves it learns, it... It's... I think it's just, like, Splash and Cosmic Power, and I think that's it. It can't even do anything. So, just for that, it's really just there. I don't know why they made it. So yeah, trash tier. The first trash tier here. <laughs> Alright, Cresselia and Darkrai. <laughs> Funnily enough, they're right next to each other in their counterparts. Darkrai is very edgy and emo, and I love it. A tier. <laughs> Cresselia, though, roaming legendary. Though I do like the design, I love the shiny design, too. But we'll get to that in another video. But we'll put that in the upper A tier. B tier, I mean. Alright, Deoxys. I'll just do base Deoxys, although Deoxys Speed is my favorite design of Deoxys. I also like Deoxys Defense. That looks really cool, but... Um, for regular Deoxys, solid A tier. One of my favorite Legend uh, Mythicals, but not my absolute favorite. Alright, we got Dialga. And I guess I'm putting Giratina and uh, Palkia here, too. Alright, um... <laughs> so Giratina, I'm just going to straight up put in B tier here. Nah, A tier. However, Dialga and Palkia, in my opinion, they're not really my favorite legendaries. Um, their designs are cool. Pretty, you know, pretty cool, I guess. But nothing that catches my eye, personally. Um, I know I'm going to catch a lot of hate for it. But I'd put them in B tier here. Maybe just... I mean, both of them are, have really cool designs, though. Um, but I like Palkia more, only because I played Pearl version. <laughs> Alright, next is DNC, and we have Mega DNC here, too, but I'm not just going to do regular DNC. DNC is eh. I, 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 it really doesn't do anything for me. D tier, the first D tier. Alright, we got the Legendary Beasts. Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. I love these Pokemon, too. Um, I mean, while I'm at it, might as well put the other Joe Legendaries up here. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. Ho-Oh is amazing. One of my f absolute favorite Legendaries. Lugia, however... Nah, fam. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> I know a lot of people going to hate me for that, but... Ho-Oh... Much, much better than Lugia, by far. Entei, amazing. I love that design. Very, very cool. Raikou, very, very cool as well. Not as much as Entei. And Suicune, is he, he's up there. Just not as much. B tier. Let me just put this uh, down here. <laughs> okay, next we have Genesect. Ooh, Genesect is really cool. Um, it has some really cool designs. Like, well... I kind of wish that with the drives that it equips that more of its body changes, but unfortunately not. Though I do like the form that it takes to in, in the movie where it can fly around and stuff. And I like the theory that it's a modified Kabutops. Um, but for in terms of how much I like them, C tier. Pretty much in the middle. Alright, next is Groudon. And I guess I might as well include Kyogre and uh, Rayquaza. 
obviously these are the Gen 3 Legendaries, and I have the most nostalgia for them. So by default, I'm going to put Kyogre in S tier. Groudon is going to be A tier, and Rayquaza is also A tier. <laughs> Just higher than Groudon. <laughs> Maybe like right here. Yeah, right there. What's next? Uh, Heatran. Ah. Uh, you know, one thing I've always found it weird about Heatran is that it can, it can be either gender, even though it's a legendary, which I thought was weird. Like, one time I caught a female, I think it was like in Pearl, and then when I was like, you know, when like, or as you could catch all the legendaries, I got a male one. I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> But uh, Heatran is okay. Its design could do some work. It looks mm -hmm, to me. I'll give it a D. <laughs> but more than uh, more than these two. <laughs> Next is Hoopa. Oh, I love Hoopa. Oh, this song. I love this song. This is from uh, Diamond and Pearl 2, right? Yo, all the Diamond and Pearl songs popping up. Uh, but for Hoopa. Hoopa's one of my favorite mythicals, um, definitely, especially from the movie, um, just based off the design alone and the mythologies and such, uh, yeah, definite A tier, maybe not, not exactly S tier, not yet. Alright, uh, next is Jirachi, very, very cool, um, though, I don't really have much of an attachment to Jirachi, I'll put him in, uh, put him in B tier. All right, we got the QRMs here. Black QRM, white QRM, regular QRM, and I guess I'll put Reshiram and Zekrom here. Reshiram is my favorite of the two. I just, that design is amazing. S tier. Zekrom's very cool too. A tier. Now, regular QRM is, I mean, it's supposed to look eh, but still, C tier. <laughs> And then for Black Kyurem and White Kyurem, oh yeah, those look really good too, but not as good as regular Reshiram. So, they're just going to stay up here in A tier. Alright, next we got the Genies. Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus. Now I could include their Therian forms because they look very, very different. And pretty much play different, but, um, you know what? I'm actually not going to do this by... No, I'm going to do it. Never mind. Um, for all of their base genie designs, I like Tornadus the most. <laughs> um, and Thunderous too, but regular base Landorus design... Uh, uh, it's meh. Pretty pretty C tier. Though, I guess this will be the exception. I'll, 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 I'll include their Therian forms here. Um, Therian Landorus is much, much better. Therian Thunderous, I love that design. It's really very cool. I love that. That's a B. That's a definite, like, high A. And Therian Land, Thunder, Land, I mean, Tornadus is also a B. I like just, like, base uh, Tornadus better. Next is Latios and Latios. I never understood why we have like the Megas. They Megas they Megalatius and Megalatius are basically the same design. But Latius and Latios, uh, they're pretty cool. They're not my favorites. I put them just pretty much B C tier. All right, we have Lunala, and I guess I'll put Sogaleo here too. I love Lunala's design, and Sogaleo is cool too. Sogaleo. It's just A tier for me, pretty good. But my absolute favorite is definitely uh, Lunala here. In fact, I've probably put Lunala like right up here. Right next to Ho-Oh. -Oh. Alright, who's next? Magirna. Magirna. Oh, I love the Magirna design. Um, Isn't there a thing where like if you complete the Pokedex in Pokemon Home, you can get the Pokeball version of Magirna? Uh, I love the I love it, a tier by the way, but I loved how um, when they announced it, people were theorizing that we might get you know a generation 6.5, but that never happened. <laughs> no, no Pokemon Z. 
All right, we got Manaphy here, and weirdly enough, Fiona is in here. It's weird how they consider Fiona a legendary, even though Fiona can breed, yet people don't consider Rotom a legendary, even though it had the legendary theme in Diamond and Pearl. Uh, but we won't talk about that. Um, Fiona... Honestly, for both of these, uh, Fiona is just, eh, it's basically, <laughs> no, it's basically discount Manaphy. <laughs> and Manaphy itself is okay, just not my favorites. Alright, Marshado. Marshado is very cool too, but it's pretty alright. B tier, I'd say that's pretty fair. And now, Meltan and Melmetal, oh my gosh. Um, where's Meltan? Meltan is pretty alright. Um, it's cute, but it's a little weird. But I love Melmetal, especially from the anime. Amazing. Definitely high up there. Alright, I'm going to tell you this right now. This is my favorite mythical. It's Meloetta. <laughs> I just love the design. I, I know how much people love to rag on the Gen 5 anime, but the Meloetta arc was very very good in my honest opinion and I just love the character that they gave Meloetta and honestly makes it my personal favorite mythical I don't know if it's better my fa more favorite than Lunala and ho oh, oh. mm, put him up there but definitely my favorite mythical all right we got Mew and Mewtwo <laughs> would it be a sin if I don't put Mewtwo in S tier um, I'm putting Mew in A tier because that's a given, but Mewtwo, um, yeah, it can be S tier, but <laughs> just to make people mad, I'm going to put it in A tier, <laughs> just very high A tier. Um, what's next? What's next? Oh, uh, Necrozma, all the Necrozma theme versions, Dawnwings, Duskmane, and Ultra Necrozma. I won't include Ultra though. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, base Necrozma, pretty cool design. I gotta be honest. Uh, an obsidian prism thing. Very, very cool. Um, but yeah, um, A tier. Dawn Wings and Dusk Main. Um, Dusk Main, not my favorite of the two. Um, gonna be a C tier, but uh, Dawn Wings is very cool. I like that design, but. Um, Lunala makes it... Luna, base Lunala is better. <laughs> uh, let's see what's next. Oh, the Reggies. Ooh. <laughs> Here's where the nostalgia comes back again. I'm just gonna include all the Reggies here, including the brand new ones. Alright. Uh, Regigigas. Very, very nice. I love Regigigas. Uh, A tier, definite. Um, Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, Reggie, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, probably my least favorite of the originals, um, but still a pretty solid Pokemon, C tier. Reggie Rock, um, I would say B tier. I love that design. Reggie Ice also B tier though. However, with the new Reggies, Reggie Lucky, I love Reggie Lucky, <laughs> but. Then with Reggie Rago, uh, he can also be B tier along here. Alright, next is Shaman. And for some reason, they don't include. The the picture for base Shaman is not here, so I'm just gonna include. I'm just gonna do Shy Shaman. So, shy Shaman. Shy, <laughs> Sky Shaman. Um, but Shaman, um, I actually have no attachment to Shaman whatsoever. I apologize, but just, I'm sure Shaman's really cool, but because of my la lack of attachment or really knowing anything much about Shaman, <laughs> E tier, <laughs> um, but not for the bad reasons, just more or less, I know barely anything about Shaman. I didn't watch the Shaman movie, um, I didn't get the Shaman, I didn't get it in the event, I didn't do the event, um, eh. oh, and there's regular Shaman now, well, We'll just put that there. You know what? We'll be nicer to Shaman. We'll put him in D. But only because I don't... I don't know much about Shaman. Alright, we have Type Null and Sylvali. Which, fun fact, they are considered legendaries. 
<laughs> I like Silva Ally. He's cool, but Type Null is way, way cooler. Um, we're just going to put Silva Ally B tier, and I'm actually going to put Type Null in S tier. I love that design. And honestly, if you think about it, Type Null, Evil Eye Type Null can actually be much better than Silva Ally because it gets better defenses. I mean, yeah, it has less speed, but still really good. <laughs> Alright, next is the Tapu. Tapu Lele, Tapu Coco, Tapu Fini, Tapu Bulu. Tapu Coco, definitely the best of these four design-wise and competitive-wise. Probably, are arguably, with Tapu Fini. But Tapu Fini has a really cool design, too. But I would put uh, Coco as my S tier. Lele and Fini are really cool too, but Bulu is my least favorite. Probably gonna put it in C tier. <laughs> I apologize, Tapu Bulu fans. Alright, we got Victini. Victini's very cool. Um, I don't really have much attachment to Victini either. Um, I like his design though, it's the Fire with Victory Chicken. <laughs> But I'm going to put this here in a B tier. Volcanion. Oh, I watched the Volcanion and Magirno movie too. Volcanion's really cool. Um, though, <laughs> it's pretty big. And it kind of... It, it looks... Something about it feels like it's... Something about it doesn't seem Pokemon-like to me. But that's just me being dumb. But personally, I would probably put it in C tier. Not my favorite of the mythicals. All right, now we got Xerneas, Evelto. And I guess we'll do all forms of Zygarde because they all kind of function differently. So, Evelto, very, very cool to Pokemon. Definite S tier. Xerneas is cool too. Um, I would put that in probably B tier. And then for Zygarde, base Zygarde, 50%. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty solid C tier. Uh, Zygarde 10% though, definite B tier. I love that design. Same for Zygarde 100%. Um, I like Zygarde 10% much more design wise, but Zygarde 100% very, very cool. I love, <laughs> especially in my opinion, the uh, the raid boss fight in Lax Layers with Zygarde's probably one of the hardest. Then we got Zera Aura here. I actually really like Zera Aura design-wise. Here's one of my personal uh, thoughts that I wish could have happened. I kind of could see Zera Aura as being an Echo Fighter for Lucario and Smash. Um, but besides that, uh, pretty cool. Uh, B tier. I find it weird that he's not electric fighting. Just my opinion, but... <laughs> we got Zacian and Zamazenta. Um, I'm not going to do base... I'm just going to do the crown versions. I guess we'll include Internatus too. Um, Zacian, yeah, Zacian's cool. Um, I'll put that in A tier here. Zamazenta, also A tier. But Eternatus is, it's okay. I'll put him in C tier. <laughs> Not my favorite. Um, it's a little weird, but it takes getting used to. Alright, now we have Calyrex, Cup Fu. And I'll just do one Urshifu. I'll just do the one that has the full body. <laughs> Calyrex, because of the Crown Tundra story, it made me one of, the, one of the, my favorite new legendaries. Just for that, he's going to be an S tier here. <laughs> he had a glow up. <laughs> and then Cub Fu and Urshifu. Cub Fu's cute. Very, very cute. Um, but it doesn't really serve much of a purpose besides being cute. So for that, I'll put it in a D tier. But Urshifu, though, very cool. Honestly, I thought it would have been a shoe win to be a Smash DLC fighter, but that didn't happen. <laughs> and probably won't, so, oops. Now I got Zarud. Uh, you already know my story with Zarud from my last video. Um, about, you know, with the favorite Pokemon picker, but... <laughs> Zarud's cool, but I'm still salty. So, uh... D tier. <laughs> And now we come to the Galarian Birds. 
Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, which actually somewhat is theorized that they aren't even the same Pokemon as the Cantonian versions, which is interesting. Um, and then we'll do the Spectre and Gastrier. So, and that'll be it. So, out of the horses, I really like both of them, but I like Glacier much, much more than Spectrier. Spectrier is cool. A tier. But Glacier, very, very high A tier. And then with the birds, honestly, all of them are extremely cool. Moltres is definitely my favorite. All of them deserve A tier, honestly, but I'm going to put Moltres as an S tier. <laughs> definitely a glow up from regular Moltres. And that's the tier list. <laughs> maybe it needs a little touching up with, like, the ordering. Like, maybe uh, Arceus. I like Arceus, but not absolutely. But this is pretty much the tier list. So, yeah. <laughs> the the S tier... Pretty much obvious ones for me. All of these ones are all of my favorites. A tier, these are the ones I really like. B tier, pretty cool too. Same with C tier, more in the middle. D tier, are the ones I'm more iffy on, or things that's reasons why I don't like them. E, it's Fione. That's basically the Fione tier. <laughs> that's basically what it is. Fione tier. <laughs> and then we have the trash tier. Like, why does Cosmo Home exist? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little lazy video. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow's video will probably be lazy too. Uh, we're going to be doing shiny Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> deciding what my favorites are. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the future video tomorrow. See ya!